why? Well, President Trump, one, his turnout operation was outstanding. You talked about who's gotten the most votes for president in the history of the United States. Right now, it's Joe Biden. Who's gotten the second most? Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump this yeah. year around. And still, Joe Biden with a 4 million vote lead. But mail-in ballots went heavily, heavily towards Democrats, particularly in these Midwest states. These Midwest states from Pennsylvania, uh, but not a Midwest state, the Commonwealth, I'll let you guys know. Ah. But Michigan, Wisconsin, they have similar rules in the sense they count in person first and they count mail-in later. Therefore, President Trump ran up huge leads early in the night. He did it in all of the states, or in all of the Midwest states and Pennsylvania. And you saw over the course of the next couple of days, Joe Biden starts reeling it in. Reeling it in, starts to catch up, starts to catch it's up. It's what people some explained early on as a red or blue mirage, where because of the waves of votes, that is a little uncharacteristic. We've always had absentee mail-in ballots, but not at this volume level. So the red mirage, if you want to call it that, I just like to look at it as waves and types of vote. But, you know, he had the first run in this game, and now it's about Joe Biden's run. Right, and, and what's important to point out about that, this was not a surprise. We knew this was coming, we talked about this beforehand, and it's because of how each state's rules lay out how they count how they count ballots. So, Pennsylvania, Wednesday, midnight, 548,000 vote lead for President Trump. Now let's start moving along. All of a sudden, Wednesday, 10 a.m., 589,000 votes. Wednesday, 3 p.m., you start to see Joe Biden catch up as the mail-in vote starts to be counted, 435,000 votes. Wednesday, 11 p.m., 182,000 votes. Thursday, 9.05 a.m., 146,000 votes. Thursday, 3 p.m., 108,000 votes. Keep moving along. Thursday, 6.30 p.m., now you're under 100,000, 73,609 vote lead for President Trump. Thursday, 8 p.m., 63,725 votes. Where is it right now? Tight. 22,576 votes. That is the current lead. That is the state of play. Here is the reality on the ground right now as votes are continuing to be counted. And we are seeing this, these votes come out and they are reported pretty regularly. Why has Joe Biden cut into a 500,000 plus this level? And is it going to continue? The answer to the latter is yes. Right now, it looks like it's going to continue. Why? Where the vote is outstanding. Philadelphia, Philadelphia County, it's really just the city of Philadelphia. 91% reporting. There's 9% outstanding. We know these are tens of thousands of ballots that are being counted right now and will be reported. Look at the margin here. 80.4% to 18.7%. The expectation, based on what we've seen over the course of the night, is the outstanding ballots will actually come in at a higher margin for Joe Biden. We've seen this as they've come out in batches over the course of the night in Philadelphia. But it's not just Philadelphia. It's not just Philadelphia. Move over into Delaware County. Again, Joe Biden, strong performance in Delaware County. This is the collar counties you push out into the suburbs of Philadelphia. This is where Democrats have really kind of locked into a stronghold the last several years. 91% reporting, still vote outstanding here. This vote will come in heavy for Joe Biden as well. You can move up and down the collar counties. Where you see blue, there is more vote to come in. Still about 29,000 votes out in Allegheny County as well. That is likely to go heavy Biden. Now, here's the reality. We don't know how the vote is exactly going to come in. We don't know, perhaps a batch will contain more Republican vote than we've seen over the last couple of batches. Shoot, I can help with that. Do it. We have a guest right now who can help us understand the flow, specifically what you're talking about right now, Allegheny County, okay? We have Bethany Halon, county civil woman, uh, civil, councilwoman, sorry, in Allegheny County, uh, where there is a pause on counting ballots until 5 p.m. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. So uh, let's start at the beginning. Why is the counting on hold right now? So uh, a little over a month ago, there were uh, there was a third party mailing company that we used to send out our mail in ballots in this election cycle, and they sent out 29,000 incorrect ballots to voters. So because of that, we agreed to wait until 5 p.m. on Friday, which is the deadline for the receipt of mail-in ballots in Pennsylvania, to make sure that we had received all of the corrected ballots for those incorrect ballots, to make sure that only one vote was counted for each person. On top of that, tomorrow is tomorrow morning is the day for the return board process. That's where the additional votes, around six to 7,000 votes on top of that 29,000, will start to be processed. Those are the ones that weren't able to be scanned. There were a variety of issues with, to make sure that every single eligible vote is counted in this election. Okay, so I am assuming by your answer that this didn't catch you by surprise. You had been planning for this stoppage all along. Is that a yes? Yes, I mean, we knew all along that all eyes were going 
going to be on Pennsylvania. We were fortunate that by Wednesday night, we had all of the non-issue mail-in ballot counted and right. all of the in-person votes counted by the time we all went to bed on Wednesday night. Okay. Uh, today was used for administrative work, and tomorrow the process will begin again. All right, I just, you know, to kind of disrupt the idea that, oh, you must have had a big problem and you stopped in the middle of everything. Uh, this is irregularity. This is intrigue. I want to dispel that if it's not factual. Uh, second, can you help us with Correct. can you help us with numbers? Uh, how many votes yes. about do you believe are still yet to be counted, and what have you? Seen